Hey everybody, it's me, Shelly. I'm back with you. I'm really excited to be here with you today. It's been a couple weeks and I haven't been able to hang out with you, but I'm glad that you tuned in today for our Bible lesson. I've been thinking about you guys a lot as we're heading into this season of Thanksgiving and I've really just kept you guys um, on my heart and especially today as I prepared this lesson for all of you. Um, and really just to take this opportunity that even in these times that seem challenging um, that we really want to instill in each of you um, a great level of trust that God has a plan for us. Um, so keep that in mind as we go through this lesson. I have um, hopefully an exciting object lesson so wait till I'm done reading the scriptures and then we'll see um, how we really have to weigh in and trust our God. Um, if you've been hanging out with me you know that we like to lead off with a word of prayer so go ahead and get those hands together put them and I'll be happy to pray over us. Here we go. Father God, thank you so much for this incredible day here. As I prepare this lesson, the sun is shining upon our land and warming it up and preparing the earth for uh, the fall and the winter season. Father, I pray that as we um, prepare for this lesson, that you work through me and guide me and help me to lead these children to a lesson of trust, uh, to really looking to you and to know that you are watching over us and have all of our needs met in every way possible. Uh, but again, when we can't see things, that we know that you're there and that we can trust um, you in every which way possible. Thank you so much for the hearts of the children. I pray that their ears are listening and their eyes are seeing for the lesson that I have in store for them. Father, thank you so much for watching over us and protecting us. Please continue to do so. We thank you. We love you. It's in your son's name we pray. Amen. Amen, everybody. Again, if you've been with me, uh, you know that I like to uh, sing a short little um, song before we dive into uh, the Word of God. So this is the song. This is how we read God's Word, read God's Word, read God's Word. This is how we read God's Word. It's Bible story time. Awesome. Good job, everybody. I have been thinking about you. I wanted to, like I mentioned earlier, um, really just remind us to trust in God. So in today's lesson, I'm going to read out of our book here. It's the Jesus Storybook Bible. And uh, if you're in your big people's Bible, we're reading out of Genesis 17. But here, um, this is just in, in the words of the children, um, but it really is about Genesis. Um, and we're reading about 12 through 21, and we're going to read about Abraham. And remember, we're going to really focus in on trust. So I'm going to go ahead and read us a little bit. It says, the son of laughter. It says, years passed and things didn't get any better. And people were still just as cruel and mean to, to one another. They still got sick and died. God's world was still full of tears. Our land right now is full of tears, isn't it? Because of this COVID-19 virus. Blah. It was never meant to be like this, but God was getting ready to do something about it. He was going to make all the wrong things right, and he was going to do it through a family. Yay, family! Abraham, God said, how many stars are there? God was about to tell his friend a wonderful secret. Let me see, said Abraham, said rolling up his sleeves. I've already rolled up my sleeves to start counting. But have you ever tried counting those stars? It's a lot of stars, everybody. Then you know how hard it is. 993, 994, 995. Wait, no. One, two, three. Yikes, that's a lot of stars. Of course, he kept losing count. Too many, he said to God. Guess what? God laughed. Ho, 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 ho. I will give you so many children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren, you won't be able to count them either. I bet some of you are great-grandchildren. I know for a fact some of you guys listening are great-grandchildren. Abraham couldn't help giggling at such a wonderful idea, but he stopped himself. How could he have a family? Don't be silly. He didn't have any children, let alone grandchildren. He wiped away a tear. Anyway, it was far too late for him to start a family. Mm. He was 99 years old. Yikes, 99 years old. Huh. What could God mean, he thought. Abraham said, believe me. And then God told Abraham his secret rescue plan. Abraham, 
I will make you a family very big, God promised, until one day your family will come to be more than even all the stars in the sky. All the stars in the sky. Oh, that's a lot of stars, everybody. Abraham looked up at the night sky, thick with stars. You will be my special family, my people, and through you, everyone on earth will be blessed. It was an incredible promise. God was going to rescue the world through Abraham's family. One of his great, great, great grandchildren will be the child, the promised one, the rescuer. But it's too wonderful, Abraham said. How can it be true? Is anything too good to be true, God asked? Is anything too wonderful for me? So Abraham trusted God, said more than what his eyes could see, and he believed. There's more to that scripture, and it really talks about Abraham's wife. But really, in this section, we're just focusing on what it is to trust God. I know sometimes it's really hard. So I'm going to trust that this lesson that I prepared for you all will really be um, fascinating. So what I have here are two bottles of water. They're like my mason jars. These are what I used to can my tomatoes. But now these are empty. I made spaghetti sauce and pizza sauce. So now there's empty. But I'm going to use them for my lesson. They're kind of big and they're kind of heavy. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to really just try and show you how to do this example, okay? So I have a jar and I have an index card, okay? So, ooh, I'm at my desk, so hopefully this doesn't make a giant mess, but here we go. So I have this card, it's just a regular index card, and I'm gonna put it on the lid. Ooh, let's not make a mess. I'm gonna put it on. But you might have to keep your least sitting ears because if I'm about to make a mess, um, you guys will hear it. Ready? Here we go. So I got this jar and I got this index card. Let's see what happens. If I move my hand. Oh, it stayed. Pretty amazing. But what do you think is going to happen? Okay, it's going to make a big mess, huh? Let's trust that it won't. Okay, listen to your ears. Here we go. I'm going to take the card away. It made a big mess, didn't it? That's what happens, huh? So now I'm going to take this other jar and this other card. Here we go. Let's see what happens. I'm all wet, everybody. Did you see all that? It's dripping everywhere. But here we go. Here's that other jar. Okay, keep your eyes open. Here we go. It stayed. It stayed. Oh my goodness, let's see what happens. Please, God, trust. I trust that this will work. Still water. Trusting that God will protect us. Because you just saw me get all wet, but God is amazing and he kept the water in there. We have to trust that God has a plan for us. So with that being said, I just really want you guys to know I love you. Trust in God. Trust that he's going to protect us. And sometimes the things that you don't see are the things uh, that God's working through. I love you so much, everybody. Um, I miss you so, so much. Um, let's go ahead and pray. Father God, thank you so much for this incredible afternoon and the ways that you've watched over us. Thank you so much um, for loving us, for protecting us, um, and allowing for us to trust in you in all the ways possible. Um, thank you so much for working through Abraham, that Abraham trusted that you would give them children, that there were so many that even Abraham couldn't count them then. Um, the sky would be thick with stars uh, because Abraham trusted in you. Father, I pray that we can trust in you too. We thank you. We love you. It's in your son's name we pray. Amen. Guys, I love you. Kiss your brains for being such great listeners today. Know that I give you virtual hugs and uh, know that God is watching over you. I love everybody. Bye-bye.